Kevin Lairbase is up in Canada and he's encountered some crap data that no human being should ever have to deal with but he dealt with it and so I'm gonna put a link so you can check out his video to see how he whooped this thing the way that he thought it through and several solutions and I'm gonna show you my get and transform solution so you go get dressed and you're sneaking up on crap data clothes and we gonna do this thing here's the situation we have these tables of data IT accounting customer service sales ops then we have these four years then a title up top and then something underneath we want to sum everything that say is IT and by year but the problem is this we only want to total the ones that say total we don't want crimson XXX's data we do want orange totals data we scroll down we do want silver totals data not silver XXXX how do we peel this down and get what we want we want it to look like this IT total by year this data goes down to row 210 we have got to have crap data come to us we can't chase this thing down here's what I did this is saved as layer based challenge so I'm going to minimize this I opened a new workbook get data from file from workbook navigate to where the layer based challenge workbook is click sheet and then I edit I'm gonna add a custom column because I want to get anything that's crimson or XXX any of the text I want it in its own column so I add a custom column now say if column 2 equals null then bring me what's in column 3 and that's because if column 2 is null that means it's either a completely blank row or it's got the text that I want there there is the custom column and I'm gonna fill down so that the XXXX fills up here total fills here so I would right click fill down and there's that step I filtered the rows anything that has XXXX near it is data that I don't want I only want the data that says total so filter out anything with the X's I duplicated this column see right click and I can duplicate the column then I'm going to replace values anything that says total in this column I want it null because I want to have orange fill the entire orange section okay replace value fill down then I'm gonna filter because anything that does not say total is nothing that I want that is how I'm gonna get rid of this orange there is nothing there that's interesting here nothing interesting so I'll filter out anything that does not say total then I rename the columns so that they mean something then I remove a column because everything in this custom column only says total don't need that anymore remove it reorder columns and then I group the rows so that I get the totals that I want and let me show you how that looks so I grouped by department and added four new columns where look at this in column 2012 do a sum and call this 2012 total and sum it by the department 
and I'm going to show you something here. Cancel. I'm going to duplicate this query. Open this up, right click, duplicate the query. Now I've got the same query. I'm going to delete this grouped rows and I'm going to group it by the column that has the colors in it. Transform, group by, advanced, custom copy, call this 2012 total sum 2012 add aggregation 2013 now I've got orange pink green silver crimson I'm going to close and load it right next to the other one that we have already. Close and load to existing worksheet. I want to put it right here. OK. And there is our data all trapped because we hunted it down. It's exactly the way that we want it. We can even add more data. So let's go back to layer base challenge. We've got new data. Crimson XXXX is data that we don't want. Purple, it does have total there. That's data we do want. Let's go back. Let's save this. Now go back to the solution. Data, refresh all. Oh, look at that. Purple shows up as new data for us. See that? We did it. Thanks, Kevin Lairbase, for coming up with this. Thank you for watching. Please go check out Kevin's video. Check out his channel. Let me know if you have any questions. And let me know how you might have solved this.